Defense of Texas and the students of Texas, a noted author and activist who's fought a long time for issues just like this. I want to introduce you to one of the best people we have here in Texas and someone who can speak on the issue for us, Mr. Jim Hightower. join you green whackers uh, here in this uh, rally, this great coalition to come together to try to raise public awareness about this corporate raid on our public school budgets and to raise common sense to high places. Uh, those high places have been right in there uh, where they're making the decision about Valero. I come from South Austin, Texas, and on the south side, uh, we on the south side of Austin, Texas, we've got a slogan that uh, says we're all here because we're not all there. <laughs> well, we're all here today because they're not all there on the concept that the common good has got to take precedent over corporate greed. Yeah. Yeah. That's really what we're fighting right there. It is about uh, corporate greed. Valero uh, thinks they're the top dogs and we're just a bunch of fire hydrants out here in the countryside. Uh, but uh, I think what they're about to learn that there's more power in a fire hydrant than there is in a pissing dog. Yes, <laughs> we, we have got the power from the people themselves. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> but they've got all the money. They've got the lobbyists. They've got Rick Perry. They put $147,000 into his campaigns. Uh, that they, they've got their lobbyists. They've got the chairman of the board here, uh, the commission. Uh, that they, they own it all. They've got the media, etc. Well, a friend of mine says, those who say it can't be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. That would be you. We're going to get it done. Thank you for the great push that you are making.